Welcome everybody to this tutorial. Today we're going to be using GIMP in order to do a face swap. So as you can see here, this doesn't look great, but I have two pictures, one of the great, oops, one of the great Kevin Hart and, oops, one of the great Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And it seems like those two guys get a lot of face swaps anyway, but I thought it'd be fun to face swap them for this video. So the first thing you can do is open up GIMP and I've dropped my pictures into GIMP in a very specific order. I dropped the smaller picture, the one that has the smaller pixel size first, and then the larger one because if I increase the size of the smaller one I start getting pixelation and if I go ahead and drop the larger one in I can then shrink that down and it looks better. So then the other thing that I'm going to pay attention to is where is my light source coming from? So on this picture, which is going to be the body, and then we're going to put Kevin Hart's head on top of the rock, you can see that the light is here on the, what is that, the right side of him. And then there's also a little bit of light on the left side, so we're going to have to compensate for that. Then there's also a difference in skin tone as well, and so we're going to have to compensate for that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and grab our top photo and hit Shift T. And then over here where it says image opacity, I'm just going to bring that down so I can see this is my uh, my tool transform there. I'm just going to bring that down so I can see the image behind the image here. I can, and now I'm going to line up one of the eyes. So right here I'm going to line up kind of the inside of Kevin's eye with the inside of the rock's eye and then I'm going to place my center right there on top of every on top of those two points. I'm going to grab any edge and then hold down control in order to scale from the center. And now uh, I can also rotate around and what I'm trying to do is match up the eyes. It's not going to be perfect, but we want to get as close as we can. Everyone has different face proportions. Once I've done that, I can just go ahead and click Enter, and then Control shift j to zoom out. Okay, now let's go ahead and add in a layer mask with, um, sure, we'll do black full transparency and click Add, and then let me select white as a color, and I'm going to hit P on my keyboard to get a brush. Now let me select a brush here, something like that. Let me change the size to, I'm going to say 68, and the hardness I'm going to take down to zero. And now you can see that we start getting some pretty fun results. One thing I can do to help myself out is if I go ahead and just straight up bring back these details in, I'm going to have to then do a lot of work in order to fix the, the face shape because Kevin Hart has a different face shape than The Rock. So I'm actually not going to do that and I'm just going to change the color to black. And I'm going to keep the forehead here at the top. I'm going to try and keep the cheeks as well, but I am going to try and change my brush size a little bit and bring these details in. And that's a little too dark there. By the way, you can change your color over here back and forth by hitting X. So I'm just going to hit X to bring black back in. And there we go. So now, if I take this away, you can see what we have here. And I'm just going to clean this up. Uh, by hitting X to bring white onto my something like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just Control Shift D, duplicate that layer, and bring it down below, just in case we need to come back to what the original layer is. And now I'm going to come here to Colors and Hue Chroma. And I'm going to mess mainly with the hue and lightness, uh, the hue and the chroma sliders here. So as you can see if I change the sliders just a little bit. And basically what I'm 
what I'm trying to get at is I'm trying to find that same skin tone so that the face looks like it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be. So, and that of course just means with messing with these three sliders. And where I'm really looking is I'm looking at somewhere like right here on the rock's head and then right here on Kevin Hart's head. You can see that uh, I'm trying to blend those together perfectly. Okay, I like that. So now one thing that we can do is go back to our mask and hit P on our keyboard. I'm going to grab a different brush. I'm going to come up here to the top and grab something like this. Make the brush really big. And then I'm just going to go around and I'm actually going to get rid of everything that I can. <laughs> This is starting to look a little bit more like I thought it should. See, let's lower the size here and let's get rid of some of this. So it's just a lot of pushing and pulling pixels that you're getting the right um, that you're getting the right look. And you can always zoom out. It always helps to zoom out. So I think one thing I'm missing. Maybe if I grab saturation here, desaturate it a little bit, or I guess that's saturated a little bit. Because remember, we're just trying to get the color to look right. And then basically the rest of this is honestly, oh, wrong color, just kind of painting away the mask. And if you want a nice big fade so that things look nice and, and together, you can just make your brush really big and then just touch the ed edges of your brush to where you're painting. Now we have a little bit of a problem and that's these smile lines right here. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. I'm just going to hit Control Shift N and duplicate this layer and then I'm going to grab the clone brush actually I'm going to grab the heel brush I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to grab that oh I guess I could have just hit H <clears throat> let me go ahead and bring the size down and control scroll wheel to zoom in and I'm going to turn this off here make this smaller sure we'll grab something like right here and then we'll just paint these smile lines out. Otherwise, they look um, a little off. And actually, let's just go ahead and paint out this part of the beard as well. And to use this brush, I forgot to explain, you just hit Control and click anywhere in your picture and then GIMP will pull the pixels from that area to wherever you're painting. All right, so with those smile lines gone, I'm hit P on my keyboard to bring my brush back and increase the size quite a bit. Not that big. Now I feel like we can really get rid of some of this here. Oops, too much up there. Okay, so obviously you could spend a lot more time. This is just a really short tutorial, but it's this is meant to give you the concept. And uh, this is basically how you go about face swapping. You can also do fun stuff like you could uh, give just Kevin Hart's eyes or keep the rock's nose. Like if, uh, let me just duplicate this and add back in then you can go ahead and paint so now you have Kevin Hart's eyes and lips but you've got the rocks nose which I guess is its, its own can of worms um, but anyway I hope that this has been helpful to you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you're staying safe out there 
and uh, please, please, please stay safe, and I will see you next time.